Hey guys, Dividable Halo here, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the next month's update, Hog Wild. So pretty much, we got a preview of what we're going to be getting. However, this is the smallest update that we are getting for Halo 5 thus far. So pretty much the reason why 3 for 3 has stated that this content update is so small is because many of the wrecks are being held back for the next next month's update uh, with the release of Warzone Firefight, expected at the end of June. Now still, this is pretty small, however, let's kind of get into what we're getting for Hog Wild. So one of the things that's going to be happening is the bronze and boosts. So pretty much with boosts, um, if you do not qualify to get, uh, pretty much earn the reward off of a boost, you'll end up keeping your boost card, and that's honestly amazing. So if you have a legendary um, or an ultra rare mission victory and you do not win a game, you'll end up keeping that boost and you'll be able to actually collect the reward once you actually win a game. For the wrecks on the bronze packs pretty much what's happening is you will no longer be getting rps however you will be able to unlock uncommons which is honestly great and more rewarding so pretty much if you guys are still hunting for armor still trying to unlock a lot of stuff it's more better off opening bronze pack to unlock all those uncommons so we're going to be moving on to pretty much what we know for the rex so the first warthog that we're pretty much going to be getting is a rocket warthog now this is a legendary wreck and we pretty much seen it in the teaser trailer for hog wild not really sure what it's di what's different about this warthog compared to pretty much the rocket warthogs that we have now however we'll pretty much see when this update hits the next warthog that we're going to be pretty much getting is the sword needler warthog now this warthog i'm assuming is going to pretty much be shooting um needler rounds explosives at people so it's pretty interesting another vehicle that we see there appears to be another warthog however this warthog does not have a turret which implies it's probably a scout warthog now some people are speculating that this warthog is a halo 3 one that we've seen for the transport one however it would pretty much render the scout warthog pretty useless in game uh, the next warthog that we have right next to it is pretty much a normal warthog we really don't know what's different about it it kind of looks like it's a green warthog however these two warthogs that we've seen are pretty much uncommon the visor that we're going to be getting is the starfire now it's pretty much a mix of blue and purple which is kind of interesting don't really know what to say about that halo 5 has many colorful visors and moving on to the next thing that we have is the stinger armor now we pretty much seen this stinger armor previewed in the hog wild teaser as well and the armor right next to it is pretty much a rare variant um actually i don't even know if this is actually a stinger armor it's not really in the same line shape as the other one it's kind of a bit smaller so possibly this is a different armor set now we are getting the hybrid smg hybrid ar hybrid br and a hybrid dmr now from what i've seen in the hog wild teaser trailer it pretty much is kind of like the carbine um scope on it on pretty much the unsc weapons so yeah that's pretty much interesting the next thing that we have right next to it is an uncommon i'm really not sure what this is it kind of looks like maybe a stance i don't really know what to say about this um however the next thing that we have after that is a new mombasa emblem and after that we have a rare emblem and an ultra rare emblem another ultra rare emblem which is the grunt and it appears that we have i believe weapon skins at the bottom so other than that this is pretty much the smallest update that we are getting for halo 5 guardians and it's honestly really really disappointing and i said that in the last update however this is just just really sad uh, one thing that 343 has said is we are getting monthly updates and honestly we're getting nothing in Hogwild other than just Warthogs, four Warthogs in general and a bunch of other stuff and skins and whatnot. But anyways guys and gals that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and tell me what you think about Hogwild and this month's update. But hopefully the next month update after that which is Warzone Firefight which 343 has said to be the biggest con update will be more impressive than all of the content updates that we've seen so, uh, so far. Anyways guys, talk to you guys all later. Bye.